Hi, my name is Paul Voicesen, and today I'm going to be showing you a trick called Invoke SOP. So, imagine if you have three different streams of data, right? You have three different lines, so to speak, right? Where you have wires um, all with separate data on them, right? So, for example, this geometry here has tons of these detail attributes, tons of primitive attributes, tons of points attributes. The torus simply has points, and the pig head has, you know, position. Uh, material, UV, and groups. So let's say you want to have some sort of operation, right, that you want to apply to all of these. So what could you do? Well, you could either, um, for example, make an HDA, right? So imagine if you, all you really just want to do is scale up the geometry, right? So for example, uh, simplest use case, you just want to transform some geometry. But you want all of these to be transformed in the exact same way. So what you could do is you could wrap this in a subnet and you could make a digital asset out of that. So let's just call it uh, my asset like that and just create that. And then, you know, copy that onto every stream of data like that. Let's just make sure that we match current definition. And so now, right, when we um, have this asset, we'll see that the same operation that we applied in this HDA is going to also apply, be applied here and here, right? So imagine if now uh, we also want to add a peak sop like that, and we peak the geometry, we will see once we save this, that the same operation is also going to be reflected in the HDAs that we have here. But now imagine that you don't want to create an HDA because you don't want to have tons of HDAs that simply do one simple thing. What else could you do? Well, what we could do is we could, for example, uh, use these nodes and uh, simply, you know, copy these to every stream of data, right? We could copy these nodes and copy, uh, copy them here like that. And the same for the last one, so the big head, we could copy this here and copy that there. But now when we change something on this transform, it's not going to be reflected in these other ones. So there's another trick that you can do, which is called make reference copy. So if you go to actions and say create reference copy, what you'll see is that all of the parameters of this node are going to be linked to this transform here. So if you were to plug this into our network and we change the transform here, we will see that those changes get reflected in this stream. But now imagine if you, know, you add another action, you add another node under here, this is not going to get automatically reflected to these other ones. So how can we fix this? Well, this is where the invoke SOP comes to play. So let's say that we once again, you know, simply do that transform operation where we scale up the geometry. And then afterwards we, you know, peak the geometry a little bit. What we could do to apply this set of nodes to these streams of data is make use of the invoke SOP. So if we drop that down, we can see that we have invoke compile block. And what this allows us to do is specify a compiled block that we want this stream of data to be cooked with, right? So to do that, what we need is of course a compiled block. So let's drop down that compiled block and put these nodes in here. So how do we get this invoke to actually execute this line of code? Well, we simply drag and drop the compile block in here so that it knows which compile block to cook. And then as we can see, it says number of inputs, which is a multiparm allowing us to specify uh, what input goes into what um, input path, right? And so to make use of that, when we click on the compile begin node, you'll see that we can give this an input name. So let's call this one in one, just like that, right? If we now go to the invoke SOP and we change this to one to begin with, and we set the input name to be in one, just like we named our uh, compile begin node, you'll see that now, the nodes that we have here are going to get applied by this invoke SOP. So if we make use of this transform SOP and we transform it a little bit, we'll see that these operations are going to get executed by this node. So all we'd really have to do now is copy this invoke SOP to the other streams of data, and we will have the same operations applied on all of these. If now, for example, we want to add some additional things, let's say a poly extrude, and we add that, let's just modify the poly extrude. We can see that once again, that is also going to get applied to the other pieces of geometry. 
So that's it. That's a really quick tutorial and tip about the invoke SOP and how you can uh, replicate you know, behavior or nodes that you want to apply onto different streams of data without merging them together and creating conflicts of attributes. The only thing to keep in mind though is that since this is using a compiled block, uh, this will only work with nodes that are compilable. So if, for example, you have a node that is not compilable, let's, for example, look at the Python SOP. We can see once we press D and go to badges, we turn on the compile block. Let's see, where is it? Here it is, non-compilable uh, SOP badge. If we turn that on, we can see that nodes that have this compiled badge here, right? So it's not compilable will not work in here. So for example, if we drop this in here, we will see that this is going to throw an error. It says no support for compiling this node type, which is referring to this Python SOP. That's it. Enjoy using this and good luck.